Hi guys, so we talked about in the last video about uh, covering up your equipment and putting a cover over top of it. So this is some typical backyard equipment. So we want to talk about if you lose electric, how you can uh, go in and specifically drain it out if you lose your electric. You don't want to wait days, you don't want to wait hours. You need to, if it's 30 or uh, below, you want to definitely uh, get in here and make sure you drain these equipments out uh, and make sure that there's no water left in it, otherwise you're definitely going to freeze. So the very first thing you want to do is drain the heater. This is a pretty common heater. All, almost all the heaters are the same. There's a drain plug right here. This plug, just undo this, and thread it out. It'll drain the heater out. Some heaters have a drain in the back. This one does not on this particular one, but there are other ones they have a little drain tube here in the very back. So you have one on both sides. The next place you wanna go is right here on the pump. This is a whisper flow pump. You can see it has the front and the back drain plugs. You just undo these and let all the water out. On some of the other pumps, they may be on the right-hand side instead of the left-hand side. On this particular filter, the drain plug is right underneath here. In this area, undo that, it'll drain that out. On other models, it's going to be over here in the back. So you'll have a back drain plug back this way. So some are going to be in the front, some will be in the back. The most important thing, whether it's running or not running, and whether it's covered or you're going to drain it out, is to open this valve. So this one has a pool and spa. So it's going to be your spa suction and your spa return. So you want to make sure these are open like this a little bit. If you have an Aqualink or a Pentair, it should be set up for freeze guard and your Aqualink or Pentair will rotate those valves back and forth for you. But if you don't have an automatic system, you're gonna to need to open those up a little bit just to make sure you're moving some water through there or that will freeze and it will break for sure. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next video.